She was the centre of their world. They never imagined for a moment that COVID would end Kelly's life. She was an amazing wife. An amazing mother and a, a very loyal friend. Having battled since December, she died last week. Stephen vividly recalls the last time he saw her in person. Kelly went out to the ambulance probably about 11 p.m. Uh, that was the last time. Her words going out the door was, I love you. Unable to visit his mum, Dean posted songs for her. She had rheumatoid arthritis, but no other underlying conditions. Having watched your mum endure this, what would you say to people who believe the virus is a hoax and the restrictions are unnecessary? You're tempted to say you, would, you wish they could experience it for a day so that they could see just the effect it can have, but I wouldn't wish that on any of them because it's just horrid. I would say that. The doctors at the end described what happened to mum as it had ravaged her body. Kelly was just 48 years old. Her husband and son had to say goodbye to her on the phone. We prayed with her, told her we love her, talked about memories and stuff. Um, and then I read Psalm 46 to mum. Just as I finished the passage, the doctor said that mum's heart had stopped. So it would have been the last thing she heard. It would have been, be still and know that I am God. You give and take away. You give and take away. Now he sings in memory of his mum. Dean says she has gone home, just not home to them. David Blevins, Sky News, in Ballymena.